We got the Tarash Trap. The Tarash Trap. It could start out via Roy Lopez. E5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, d6. Or it could start out via a Philidor mock. And now, transpose into an old Steinitz. Castle, we, rookie one. We threaten to take on c6. He had to take here. He castles, he falls into the Tarash Trap. Bishop c6, bishop c6, d e5, d e5, queen d8, Tarash Marco, rook d8, knight e5. Bishop e4, if knight e4 we take, we win. So bishop e4, knight e4, knight e4, knight d3. f5, f3, bishop c5, knight c5, knight c5, bishop g5, rook d5, bishop e7, rook e8, c4, knight d3, cd5, knight e1, rook e1, king f7, bishop b4, bishop h4, and wins. All right, let's do it. See if he falls for it. A whole new world. Oh, he took that way, ruining the whole thing. Ruining the whole damn thing. Now I'm down. Now I gotta win a pawn up for nothing. Too bad. Too bad. But so sad. I'll say it after, alright? I'll say it after. Doo -doo -doo. Don't worry, don't worry. We need speed, don't we? But it's kind of routine position. Although he has that. Okay, Dami, Mommy, the bishop there. All that analysis, now I'm down in time. Oh well. Thanks for that. And let's move on. But to show you the Taras trap in slow in real time. And again, they could happen via they could happen via the old Steinitz. Or of the Roy Lopez. Or it could happen via the four knights. Or it could happen via the filter. He was gonna. I was gonna mate him anyway. 
but yes, good-natured mocker. Okay, so here, now, I can't take immediately because if I trade and I take here, he takes this guy, right? So that's why, so that's why I defend it first, so that now if he does like this, now I have a free pawn, right? Okay, but, but again, knight c3. So that's why he, he hits me knight f6. Now if I take, he's hitting this e-pawn. Take, 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 and even game. Right? So, therefore, I don't take yet. I castle. Ignore that. That's mock. Castle. And now bishop e7. And now I... I play this. I could also play this and get a kind of a good King's Indian where I trade off the light squared bishops. I'm a little bit better, but um, but rookie one, now I threaten to take this guy. So he has no choice but to take on d4 and give up his strong e5 pawn and then knight d4 and white's a little bit better. With the space, with the center. But the game Tarash Marco from the 1890s if they castle, falls into the Tarash trap. Bishop takes c6, bishop c6, take, take. And my opponent played rook takes, which is not challenging, but the best move. So he actually played the best moves, according to the, the computer. Pawn down, but two bishops. I could just play knight d3, and that's uh, dominating. I played knight f3. It's, it's better to put the knight on, on d3, controlling more squares. And then I should be dominating. But... Um, but if he takes with the with the a rook, now knight takes e5, which I was saying. If knight e4, then knight c6 wins a piece. Uh, because if he takes here, I take with check. And if he takes here, I'm up a piece. So, so he has to take with the bishop. Take, take, and now this is the the trap. Knight d3, and he's on the on the line. Obviously, we don't hang the back rank mate. So they might think they're getting away with it, but knight d3. And now f5, and now we play f3, and I've done this many times, f3, it's fundamental. My coach, Calvin Blocker, made me figure it out when I was a kid, uh, trying to figure out the trap. f3, and I remember I got as far to this in my head. Bishop c5, I couldn't figure, it was hard because if, if king h1, obviously there's knight f2. And he's getting away. And if king f1, then there's bishop b6, and he's getting away. Because if take, take, and this knight's hanging, and then there's g5. So so it's not king f1, it's not king h1, no. It's this beautiful move to rush played, knight takes bishop. And now there's this beautiful geometry on the dark squares. Bishop to g5, threatening bishop to e7. So he has to play rook d5. This is what I was saying at the beginning of the game as a mock. Bishop e7. Rook e8, and now c4 hitting the rook and the knight. So he has to, if he does this, I take him. So he has to play knight d3 and then cd. I've had this before, of course. Take, take, and then this is what we did with the arrows. You can rewind the video. Bishop b4 or bishop h4. Remember to like, subscribe, and smash that mock button. Check out the Patreon, too. Thanks for that. And let's move on.